uh, Newcastle West manager Jimmy Lee. Um, mission accomplished, Jimmy, through to another county semi final. Uh, what was your thoughts on the game? Yeah, look, mission was accomplished, all right. Um, that's what we set out to do. Um, happy with the result, um, Callum. A um, bit more to work on. Um, is, is what I would say. Um, look, Clahan were a decent football inside. We knew that coming in here. Um, we gave them the deserved respect that they, they merited. Um, they're into intermediate county champions and we, they're on the upper curve. Um, so we are happy with the result. Conditions were difficult, weren't they, for both teams? Very heavy shower in the first half. And I suppose you got the goal, it gave you that little bit of breathing space. And a goal in the conditions was a big score today. It was, yeah, and it was a, the conditions were quite difficult um, for both sides. Um, and look, we handled it that bit better, um, and the goal did help, Colm, you're, you're bang on. And I suppose in the, in the third quarter, then you, you pulled away, you kicked some good scores, and you. You put a bit of daylight between yourselves and Clahan, you must have been pleased with that. Yeah, we were. Like, we weren't happy with the, the we, let's say, call it after the water break in the first half. Um, we we righted that at half time um, and we spoke to the players about it and they went out and they kicked some serious scores after that just to, to kind of hammer it home as best we could. I suppose from the club's point of view, it's great to be back in the business end. This is a semi final to look forward to. Look, look at it, it is from a club's perspective, like, we're in two. Like we were in the intermediate hurler and premier intermediate hurler and in the semi final, and we're in the senior football semi final. I suppose we've 12 dual players, so we'd be hoping on the county board that they wouldn't be, you know what I mean, they'd give time between the games and um, column. Um, it's a big ask of players, and we need to treat them with the respect and, uh, you know, to allow them to play both games to the best of their ability. Is that difficult, the logistics of guys in terms of organising them for training and making sure they're not getting overtrained as well? Well, it, it is. Look, I mean, we work well with the hurler management. Um, you know, the hurler management are good, and look, we work well. We communicate on a weekly basis. Um, you know, the, the issue for us is when the games are going to be on. Um, we need time behind them, like there's 12 players that need recovery, um, and we'll be hoping on the county board. We don't need to rush this. You know, football needs its deserved respect, as does Holland. I know we're, we're all Ireland champions in Holland, and Holland is is the number one sport in the county. That's look, that's given. But like the footballers, just we just need to give them the due respect that it deserves. Are there aspects of your game to be you need? You think you need to work on ahead of a semi-final? There is. There's a lot of aspects. Look, we've a lot of work on to do on the training ground. Um, you know, and look, we'll get that. I have a good team of coaches there. Um, Stephen Kelly, Declan Bruder, Jolie, um, the, you know, they all have inter-county um, in experience, so look, I'm happy with the coaches, they're doing the work, we're improving game by game, um, and look, that's the way we want it to be. And way to draw now, I suppose, for semi-finals? And look, yeah. anyone you're going to meet is going to be tough. Um, there's no doubt in that, whether it's Monolene, Galti Gales, I don't know how the other game went, um, but look, I mean, any semi-final is tough, um, so I mean, look, we'll give everyone the due respect they deserve, um, but we'll play our game.